Good morning guys and happy bank holiday. So this video is the what's in my handbag tag. I was tagged by the lovely Jane Gammons. Um, I did do a what's in my handbag vlog uh, a year or two ago so I'm not sure how much the contents have changed but I do have a few things to show you. So this is my handbag, it's just a normal plain black handbag. This was a bargain from the Marks and Spencers outlet store in, um, it used to be called MacArthur Glen, it's now called the Designer Outlet in York and it was reduced from 20 odd pound to 12 pound 50 so I got a bit of a bag in there. I've just checked in my front pocket and there's nothing in the front pocket. Uh, the first thing um, that's in my handbag, it's usually in my hand, is my iPhone or my phone, which is an iPhone 6. I have a shatterproof case on it and I never go very far without my iPhone. Um, I use it to, if I'm out and about, this is what I use to film. Um, and I use it for reading a lot on the internet. I use it to check sins on the Slimming World app. Um, I use it for WhatsApp, texting, ringing, and basically it's it's my life. Oh, and taking photos. So my phone is never very far away from me. Next is my purse. It's a, a beigey pink purse, and I believe it was from New Look. I don't carry a lot of cash, which is why sometimes I can't pay for the raffle in group. Um, but what do I have in my purse? I have a receipt, we'll look at that later. I have a toothpick. I can't go very far without my toothpick. If you're wobbling, it's because Charlie is chewing the legs on the table. I have a trolley pound, but that is the old style pound. so just in case I come across an old style um, thing that needs a pound and then I have a new style um, pound coin but it's one of those things that you put in a trolley um, so I carry those in my purse then I've got about 50 pence in change not enough for a raffle ticket so that's why I couldn't buy one at group last Thursday because I didn't have enough change. So I've got less than a pound in coppers and silver. I, I do um, I do save my coppers to play on the um, two pence machines in Bridlington. Then I've got a ten pound note which I got out on Saturday which is since group so that um, if I need to pay for group, if I'm out of target range, I've got my money and also that I can take part in the raffle. Then I've got five second class stamps. They are Christmas stamps, so you can tell how long we've had stamps for. Just a minute, trying to get him to stop chewing the table. Then I've got two photos of my nephew William. These are really, really old as he is 14 I think now, 13 or 14, so you can tell how, long, how old these are. Then I've got my bank card, my boots points card, um, an m and loyalty card which is quite good if you shop at m and um, so many times you get a £5 voucher. I've got an Iceland bonus card which I got because I did quite a bit of Slimming World friendly shopping at Iceland but if you if you only go every so often it doesn't really pay so I haven't really used that a lot. I've got a donor card and a card to say that I give blood which my next appointment is coming up very soon. What else have we got? banking card that I don't use, a Nando's card that's also quite good, a Nando's loyalty card. If you buy so many meals you then get the 10th free I think. 
of course my Slimming Well card. I did used to keep this in the front of my book, but you'll notice that it says two. I lost the one that I kept on the front of my book in a little plastic wallet, so I now keep my second card in my purse and my gym card. So that's what's in my purse. The receipt was a receipt for two gym classes that I booked. When you book, uh, of course I pay monthly for my gym membership, but when you book in advance, they'll print you out a little receipt to show that you're booked on. Uh, so I booked on dynamic conditioning and circuit class. So I can get, I can get rid of that because that was last week. So that's my purse. I then have some Bluetooth earphones. Um, they are the Skull Candy brand. These are really, really good. Dead easy to link to your phone or your iPad via Bluetooth. And you can just hook them around your neck and listen. And the reason they're in my bag is I mainly use them at the gym. If I'm at home, I have pairs of earphones in this drawer here and I can just grab one of those. But if I'm out and about at the gym or walking Charlie with my handbag or when I go to Bridlington and I go out for a walk, I've got my headphone, Bluetooth headphones in my bag. Um, the only thing is keeping them charged. So I do have to sort of make a note about keeping them charged. So that's my Bluetooth earphones. We then have a poo bag um, for this one here. who normally is asleep at this time, but obviously now I'm filming, he's very interested in what's going on. Then I have a pocket umbrella. I think Andrew bought me this one off Amazon. Let's see, the, um, the pattern is just like a flowers pattern. So that's my umbrella. We've needed to use it a little bit more these, these past few days. So my car keys, I drive a Peugeot Automatic. I should have looked this up. I think it's a 106. I should have looked that up, actually. I drive a Peugeot anyway, and it's an automatic. Um, so my lovely um, dog key ring that you might remember has unfortunately, from the last video, has unfortunately snapped off. But that's my car keys. Then I've got a perfume that my mum bought me for Christmas. It is Un Elizabeth Arden Untold. It's quite nice. It's quite a musky smell. I'll have a spritz of that, I think. Yeah, it's nice, is that one. I like that. Then I've got some sunglasses. I can't remember where these are from, but they're only cheap ones. Tesco or uh, one of the like home bargains or somewhere like that. They'd have been about £5. Or may maybe even Primark. Uh, but they were like 2 or £3. Um, so some tiger print sunglasses. Another pair of sunglasses. These are a an older pair. Um, I don't usually have two pairs. I'm trying to get organised into having one in the car, one in my handbag and one on the table for dog walks. I've had these years and years. They're wrap around so they're better for the car. And they are tiger print again, but this time a sort of more greyy colour. Another toothpick. Can't live without toothpicks. My house keys, so on my house keys I've got another trolley pound, I think that's a old style one. I've got the keys to my mum's house, I've got my back door, front door and patio door key. Oh and the keys to my, I think that's my mum's house and my dad's flat. I've got a Winnie the Pooh that I've had for ages, That I think my sister bought that from for me, from um, Disneyland in America or Florida years and years ago. Get down. Then I've got a Border Terrier on a plastic thing and this was from 
um, the garden centre in the Lake District in Ambleside, Hayes Garden Centre. Uh, so Andrew bought two of those and he's got one on his key ring. And finally I have my key ring from Jane Day which says it works if you work it. And I've always kept that on my key ring. Uh, oh, I've got a penny. We're all rich. Find a penny, pick it up. All day long you'll have good luck. I'll put that in my purse. Then, in the bottom of my bag, I have got some treats. Yeah. Some dog treats. He's not interested now. So I'll keep those in the bottom of my bag for emergencies. Then I've got a tub of extra mint peppermint, um, sugar free. Um, so these are mini versions of the peppermint and I always carry chewing gum in my handbag. I've got some paracetamol. I've got a mini hairbrush. I've also had this years and years and years. I think it was from Boots, but I always use this. And I've got two um, scrunch, two bobbles to tie my hair back. Um, oh, more paracetamol. Then I've got my other essentials in the little bag. I've got some tweezers. I am thirty seven or 38 am I now 37 I think and um, tweezers are an essential for the chin so I have to carry those around because if I find a stray hair on my chin I have to pluck it uh, my other essential is lip balm or lip salve I use this all the time uh, so I, I've got one in my handbag one in this drawer one upstairs. Uh, I'm always applying lip balm. Then I've got a pen, another essential. I've got a phone number written on a torn off packet of hi-fi bars and that is a lovely lady at group who gave me her number if I was ever worried about the dog because she is very experienced with dogs. And it's from my favourite hi-fi bar, The Fruit and Nut. I've got my a personal trainer's card. This is Brian's card, who runs the dynamic conditioning class. Because I sent him a um, recommendation, like a write-up about his classes. So he gave me his card so I could send him my write-up. Oh. Then in here, weirdly enough, I've got a Holland and Barrett card because when we went to um, the designer outlet, there's a Holland and Barrett in there and they have a, another loyalty card membership. I don't know whether all these loyalty cards are any good really. I've got some tissues which are another essential to carry around another pen and then when I went to visit my mum she gave me some of her Cocodamol tablets um, so I've got a few packets of those I'll take those out of my bag actually um, before Drew when he has a bad back they're just slightly stronger Cocodamol 8 milligram over 500 milligram so Drew can crush those up because he can't swallow tablets when he is suffering with his sciatica and his back and if I have really bad period pains, I'll use them for that. But I'll put them in the drawer and not in my handbag. And lastly is the confession. The confession time. I am a smoker. Um, I've got two lighters and some cigarettes. Um, I can confess this now because I was trying to keep it from my mum. But she, when I went to see her two weeks ago, she spotted them in my handbag. Uh, at the moment, I am smoking JPS Players Super Kings Green. 
and these are £7.50 for a packet. Don't take up smoking. Currently I've got three left. Um, I've been smoking on and off for 20 years probably, on and off. Uh, I started when I was 17. Um, I've never smoked loads and loads. I smoke about three or four a day. When I was living on my own before I met Andrew, um, I went up. I went up and I was smoking about ten a day. And since I've met Andrew, it's been more on and off. So I've smoked for a few months. I've given up for a few months. I've probably given up for up to two years sometimes but I've always come back to it um, and I think this this time um, I started smoking again just before Slimcon last year um, in that time I've given up for a week or maybe a month or a few days or however long but I, I've always gone back to it so yeah I'm really struggling with that at the moment uh, I don't want to spend the money on it, um, but it's a comfort, it's a hobby, not a hobby, it passes the time. It's actually not not helpful, but when Charlie's been outside, it's something to pass the time while he does his business. There's no excuses for it. Uh, you might have noticed that my voice is gravelly, I've got a little cough, um, <coughs> I'm not able to... Um, I'm not jogging at the moment, I'm just walking really fast. So it does affect your health. I would like to stop, but I have SlimCon again in three weeks. So maybe after that, um, I'll, I'll try again to give up. But that was, it. What was, what, that was what was in my handbag. You all know the truth now. Um, so when you see me smoking at SlimCon, you won't get another shock. The other two things that are sometimes in my handbag is my water bottle and I always wear, at the moment I'm always wearing my more fit fitness tracker. Um, right, so this is a, a tag. So who would I like to see um, the contents of their handbag? I would like to tag. Kath and Laura from the Budget Slimmers, because I don't think you've done this kind of video before. What's in your handbag? I would like to tag Kate from Kate SW and Rachel from Bales 1986 SW. You two may have already been tagged, but I don't think I've seen you do a video yet. And finally, I'd like to tag Ivetka from Ivetka Slimming World Journey. I'd love to see the contents of your handbags and I will link all those channels below. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.